Hi there and welcome to Aliens vs Predator 2. I am Baron and this is my new let's play. Aliens vs Predator 2 is a shooter and one of those with the most intense atmosphere. You play this game, well this game is cut in three pieces. You play it as a marine, then you play it as a predator, and finally you play it as an alien. And you got to play all three um, threats, so to say, to fully understand the story of the game. And you start with the marine, and then comes the predator. Who, the story uh, of the predator, you know, begins before the story of the marine starts, and the alien uh, starts right at the beginning. So you work your way from inside out, so to say. And I think the marine part is one of the best shooters that have ever been made it's it's like you're really in an alien movie you get that atmosphere you get that sense of danger it's really great so without further ado let's start and uh, the first mission is unwelcome guests you can uh, change a difficulty um, choose a difficulty setting and uh, normal is okay I guess so let's launch Hurry up, Frosty. We ain't got all day. Don't you have work to do? Everybody's waiting on you. Heck, I even prepped your gear for you. Wasn't that nice of me? Thanks, Duke. I'll remember who's asked to pull out of the fire first when everything goes to hell. Duke, we have an operation to run here. Quit flirting and get back to work. Commander on the deck? Gather around and listen up. Six weeks ago, the Wayland yutani Corporation lost contact with a research facility on LV-1201. We're here to find out why. Duke, what are we looking at? A suicide mission. Hell, we're still short eight soldiers and our synthetic after that last drop. Half our equipment's out of commission. There's time pressure involved, and we won the distance lottery. Skip the commentary and tell us what we're dealing with. The basic layout is two heavily fortified installations. Primary operations complex and forward observation pods. The sites are connected by a secure tunnel network. Johnson, flight plan. Not much to work with, sir. I vote for an airstrike, sir. Negative. The higher-ups want the site intact, survivors or not. We're cleared for light and medium munitions, but no heavy stuff. That means no airstrikes and no Alice. Sorry, Harrison. We're supposed to evac survivors? Our orders are to put out fires, then dig in and wait for the 6th. Assuming we last that long. Beta section will remain here until the ground position is secure. All right, boys, let's roll. Johnson, where the hell did you learn to fly? Flight school. The same place that taught me not to fly blind in hurricane winds. What'll it take to get airborne? A landing beacon and wind shear data for a start. Plus the ship's a little beat up. Stabilizer's jammed. I can fix it, but it'll take me an hour or so. The antenna's fried, though. So much for calling down reinforcements. Once we control the complex, we'll control an entire subspace array. Hall, red team, get the power online. White team, locate security control. Blackwell, you take Shugi and Harrison and make for the landing bay. We need that wind shear radar up and the landing site clear and powered. Once you've done that, activate the beacon. You heard the man. Move it. Yes, ma'am. 
Okay. So we have objectives. Wait into a tiny debriefing, the incident, appendix G, Major McCain's lock, hard landing. Dropship has sustained minor damage, contact lost with Dropship 2 and White Team. Will need the landing beacon online at the northern landing before I feel safe enough to order Johnson airborne again. That means Hall's team is headed to restore the power core. Blackwell's boys will make for the landing. There's just three of them. But Harrison's been lucky for me in the past. They call him Frosty for a reason. Cool under pressure. So we have three objectives. Locate the primary operations complex, POC. And do not kill other marines <laughs> if you can help it. Okay, we don't have much, but we have a nice gun. And we have a quick save somewhere. There. Move it. Wait. Oh yeah, I have a light. You coming? What are you waiting for? Christmas? Harrison, run a bypass. Oh yeah, that thing is broken. We can hack that. Like that. I got movement. Harrison, scout ahead. We'll cover you. Yeah, always I. Well, we have to take a find another exit. Locked. What? Diller, the lockbox code was AX72BY before the POC was overrun. Thank Blaney for the codes, BG. Then get the guns and get back here. We've made it this far, so whatever's tripping the sensors isn't all powerful. Just another set of walls, man. We're nearly out. A few more days and it's rescue time, got it? Xavier. So yeah, as you can see, the light um, depletes our battery to the left. Now it's recharging because we turned off the light. Is that a boot? That is a boot. So you can't run around with light all the time. Although you would want to. Locked. That is not locked. Hey! People! Dead people. Okay, some ammo. Okay, a map. Sorry? Who's shooting? POC, Northern Landing, okay. What's that here? Damn, <laughs> that's destroyed. Q. 
Excuse me? Did you jump or were you thrown? Shit. Ah. Any survivors? Ah, not likely. I'm on track. Uh, at least I think I don't see a track, but I'm still moving. Main landing facility. 1,004 people lived here. Uh, we should deduct to shit. Yay! Give me that. The pulse rifle is your fundamental marine weapon. Use fire key to trigger the assault rifle and alt fire to trigger the grenade launcher. Conserve your grenade ammo. It's hard to come by. I know. November the 28th. Gate closes at 15 to sundown. You're not inside, you're on your own. That's guards and cons. No exceptions. I play fair. Lenny. Okay, let's hack that shit. We located the POC. Major, we're at the power core. How's it look? Okay. Duke That's moving, see? Looks like the whole system was shut off. So once the main grid is online, we'll still have to reset the local relays to get the lights back on in each sector. When you finish there, find the landing bay and get the systems online so we can land this Oh, don't write me off yet. Situation bad, getting worse. Blackwell's team tripped some sort of booby trap. Harrison was inside, but I think he's still alive. His HAV feeds are down, but his life signs are still coming through. I'm hoping he can still hear me on the radio. Bottom line is, we're cut off from the landing now, so it's up to him to get the beacon up and wave us home. He'd better hurry too, we're getting uh, ghost readings on the motion trackers. Something's out there, and I think it's hunting us. Power up the auxiliary generator. That's our goal right now. So we go down here, do some crouching. Yeah, I know. I have a lamp, and I'm going to use it. Oh no, wait. <laughs> Caution, yeah. Damn cockroaches. <laughs> December the 10th, 2230, time 445. Check the generator thoroughly for gas and oil. If we lose this generator, we lose power to the rest of our sentry guns. Once you're certain it's good, initial on the list below and include date and time. If you miss your rotation, you go half rations. We have to be disciplined. Since Rykov and Eisenberg haven't sent any help, we must assume that they're in worse straits than us. There's got to be a reason they haven't sent help. Blame. Don't annoy my motion tracker. I need it. For aliens and shit. Not for cockroaches.
That sounds looks like a power button or lever. Power up the auxiliary generator. That worked. Sure thing. <laughs> now that's no alien. the letter. The coast is still clear. Locked. Oops. Somebody didn't want to use the panel. <laughs> okay. Oh, doesn't work. What? What? That was moving. That's not a good sign. Flares? Oh yeah, I think you use. How do you use them? Um, flares, marine, with Q, okay, okay, it's a nice uh, steady source of light, we have 19 flares. Auditor's report appended notes. I had a heated conversation with Dr. Eisenberg today. He is an arrogant one. His family is powerful. The founders of modern synthetics hold great sway in the WY board. Still, he is overestimating his protection. His father's foray into medical application leaves the investors cold. Dubious profit and dubious technology. Yes, he's had success in printing neural patterns onto synthetic adaptive networks, but costs are insane. A handful might afford such operations. And there are rumors of facility loss, emotional alterations and instability. Of course, given that his subjects are generally terminal beforehand, who's to say it's the procedure? Ammo. Shotgun shells. I don't have a shotgun. December the 15th, 2230, 6.20, since Brown, Miller and you have vanished, everyone else will have to pull double shifts. When you add the transmitter, stay alert to regular patterns. Anything other than static. We have to let the pods know that we're still alive. They have to come for us. Blaney. Okay. Okay, that's some sort of map. Landing beacon. There's a beacon. All right. Hold on to something. The dropship. Oh, finally, no longer alone.
Good work, Marine. Harrison, find the nearest security office and restore the defense grid for the bay. Shugi, Blackwell, this drop ship is our lifeline. Don't let anything get near it. Am I understood? Yes, sir. You have your orders, Marine. Okay, I don't like the grenade launcher too much. It's too imprecise for me. Um, locate the security station and activate automatic defenses. Find that security station, Harrison. I'll do my best. Get to work, soldier. Okay. Hey. If I survive, I'm recommend recommending Harrison for a medal. He pulled through for us. Landing beacon and all. Unfortunately, security is still down. Until we restore the security, the dropship feels like a beached whale waiting for the gulls to feed. Good news, if you call it that. The plans show a security station on sub-level 3. A 10 minutes run. Bad news is that I can't spare the manpower. If we lose this dropship, no one goes home. I hate to even send one soldier, but security isn't coming on by itself. Let's hope Harrison is a good fast runner. And we gotta locate the security station and activate automatic defenses. Hell yes. Locked. Wait, that's empty? How disappointing. Um... That wasn't me. Oops. Somebody got in from there. Junction of corridor 1C and 1D. All clear. Entry clear. Signs of gunfire Locked. though. Damage from explosives, probably frag grenades. I'm not seeing bodies. Um, this morning the re refrigerator in the admin launch seemed to be warming everything inside rather than cooling. The stick of butter on the door is melting. <laughs> I don't know if the door was ajar or if there is a malfunction, but be warned. Even if your perishable food is now cold, it may be a health risk. Okay. I think you have better, bigger problems actually right now. So where do we go from here? All that stuff is locked. Can't go into the kitchen. We can't stand the heat anyway, so hmm. that's where we came from. So there's gotta be a way somewhere around here. Oh yeah, probably this one. Freaking talk. Uh, to administration from A. Eisenberg. Personnel transfer. I regret to inform you that I cannot approve Dr. Morita's transfer back to the Gateway. Due to his extreme time-sensitive time research, he has elected to press on with current duties. Does he? Health. It's a boot. Hey, it's a boot. Okay, that would open. That would not open.
what's going on here? Oh, the core. Hey, slow down there, Duke. Yeah, we can crouch. We don't need to, but we can. Shit. From A. Eisenberg to Administration New Personnel. Please prepare transportation for personnel arriving on the next supply ship. We should be receiving an additional biologist, two neurobiologists and a physicist. We are all saddened at the loss of Dr. Marita, but we must move on as a team. As such, I would prefer a minimum of salacrious rumors as they tend to unnecessarily excite and worry new personnel. Wait, Dr. Marita, the guy who didn't want to transfer all of a sudden now is dead? Okay, so careful you don't fall two floors at once like we just did yeah you know try to drop on that uh, cabinet here and not like me ouch You seem to be dead. The combat shotgun is great at close range. Yeah, I know. <sighs> I should have quick saves before <laughs> approaching that hole. Fuck. Oh well, can't be helped. That's where we came from, right? What's that? Okay, Blaney, stop ducking me. No more holding out. Mattingly told me that you know the combinations on the gun lockers in rem remote tunnel 2. We need those now. We've lost another two cons and don't tell me they walked into the bug zone. You convinced me. Now back up your word. What bug zone? Oh shit, now I save. Local Nexus, we have to hack that. Shit. <laughs> Return to the landing bay, preferable alive and in one piece. They're everywhere. Form up. Forget the drop zone. Watch our six. The ceiling. The ceiling. Red team, fall back to our position. We need new telemetry now. Roger, sir. Watch out, Joan. Harrison, get back here. We're pulling out. Falling back in good order, sir. It's really hot. Mouse sensitivity is somewhat high. Yeah, it's better. Lost your head? Oh, now, now, now it's a little low. <laughs> it's not easy. Maybe one in the middle. Okay. Mm -hmm. 
Oh, we don't need that apparently. But hell, we need that. Health. See that? That was an alien. Shit, that was Blaney. Apparently he didn't make it. Empty. Oh, we have to hack that. Armor, finally. We really need that after that drop. Oh wait, give me that. To administration from V. Rykov. Read Dr. Mor Morita. Dr. Morita's death will no longer be a topic of gossip. Morale is a security issue, so anyone spreading rumors will be dealt with severely. That is locked. Hey, give me that. Okay, let's try the shotgun. Get up here. Level two. Locked. Uh huh. That one is not locked. Fuck. Hit. Ah, damn, I wanted to escape, but the door was closed. Fuck. No fun at all. Locked. Shit! Six? Ha! <laughs> Fuck. Okay. Bad idea. Oh, I'm down here again. Okay. Okay, here we save. And we retreat. Ah. Ow. Okay, we got three. Probably need to get more. Okay, this time we managed a little better. Shoot. Hey! That 
bastard wasn't dead yet. That's not working, fucker. Shoot. Oh, we're here again. Kitchen. I think we gotta go in this direction. Lost your head? Ha! Ah, damn it! Well, now you're dead. I always Wee. wanted to drive one of these. Where the hell did you come from? I told you I'd pull your ass out of the fire, Duke. Where's Hall? She's gone, Frosty. And Deckard's badly burned. They were everywhere. My motion tracker can read life signs, right? Sure. Listen, you heard Hall's briefing. These things are parasites. They need hosts. They'll want her alive. Hall's toast. Let's get the hell out of here. He's right, Frosty. She's gone, man. I'm not leaving without her. If our data's right, they'll take her for incubation. That's their weakness. Not much of a weakness. I'll take what I can get. Okay. The transmitter's shot, but it looks like your camera feed is working. We'll be monitoring you from the APC. So, right. We will take a break here and continue in the next one. So, thank you very much for watching. Did we do it? Yeah, we did. So, thank you very much for watching, and see you soon. Bye.